Well, hello YouTube. Here we are. We have a start to a, another day. Uh, it's probably been about a week or so since I touched a camera. You know, picked one up to, to uh, vlog and all that good stuff. But I guess it's the way she goes sometimes. And yeah, welcome to our vlog. So, here we go. Well, I think the last time I vlogged was right around the day that I went out to move the concrete uh, at the cemetery. Um, I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> I will uh, say that. Um, I'm not 100% sure if what I was feeling was back pain or it uh, may have triggered uh, something else. But it took about a week for the uh, symptoms to lessen. Uh, this has been the first day in, well, like I said, about a week where it didn't feel like somebody was stabbing me in the back. Now I'm no stranger to back pain. I've had lots of back pain in the, ba in the past. Now I'm no stranger to back pain and I've had lots of pain in the past uh, in various areas on my back. However, um, this pain felt different. Now I've been uh, rather lucky um, over the last few years and I uh, haven't done anything uh, too major or too extreme to myself. Nothing that, uh, you know, couldn't, couldn't be uh, remedied or healed up. Um, you know, getting, getting away from surgeries and stuff like that. However, um, with something like this, uh, if it's what I thought it was, then I guess I got lucky this time around. Eventually, yes, um, I'll probably end up having to uh, go for a procedure or something um, in the future. But as of right now, I guess uh, you could say we are still good to go. Well, today, of course, uh, the best part of the day was uh, relaxing. I, uh, like I said, been taking it easy, so I didn't want to push her today and end up, uh, you know, relapsed, if you want to call her that. Well, the big, big deadline uh, is coming up here again in a few days where I want to take the uh, trailer out on its uh, so-called maiden voyage. Um, it's nowhere near done the way I wanted it to be done for this voyage, nor will it be done at all uh, this season the way that I want it to be done. But um, it is what it is, you know, one step at a time, right? You get the trailer um, first, which was a, a large cost in itself. And then you start uh, building on it one piece at a time. And unfortunately, with everything compounding the way it has been, coming all together um, kind of in a head here, uh, sometimes the funds aren't there to do exactly the way you want to do it. So you scale back some of your plans maybe using different material which may have been a mistake because in the future uh, you may want to rip out that material and then redo it with stuff that you know you want to use but then at the same time you just uh, wasted money but uh, we will cross that uh, when we get here or there or if we get there you never know what the future is going to hold things change real fast Sometimes uh, things you think are uh, okay aren't and uh, things pop up that you have to overcome for next season. So of course today I would like to work on my workbench. I know I should be throwing a couple of cuts and uh, getting the final uh, few cuts done on that trailer. But I need this workbench to safely do what needs to get done. And uh, once the workbench is done then a guy can uh, safely make the uh, last uh, three or four cuts as well as when uh, <clears throat> as well as uh, when the big maiden voyage is over come back and if they feel like it make uh, a few more cuts as well 
Uh, looking at my wood stash here that I have, I got material in here that I can use or be used up. There is still another uh, 23 by um, looking like 7 or so piece of pine that I think I can make do. As well as uh, there's a couple of chunks of spruce and stuff, so um, we'll have to reevaluate that and uh, see if some of those materials can be used for what I want. Like I said in the beginning, um, this season by no means was going to be uh, glamorous and getting it all done in just a matter of weeks. I had fully expected to take longer than uh, planned to get her done, as well as I had fully um, scaled back the vision from the beginning uh, based on, well, finances, right? I knew from the start that it would never have appliances in it because obviously, um, why, if that was the case, uh, why didn't I just stick with the Jayco? The Jayco was uh, plug and play, you know, pull and go, ready to roll. All I had to do was buy, you know, maybe two or three hundred dollars in things. And I could be using that trailer right now without uh, very little fuss at all. However, like I've said in other vlogs, I was not comfortable with all the appliances and the bathroom and all that water system because it's just not me. It's just not my style of camping. It was just not well what I wanted to do right this trailer here I said from the start is going to be simple it's not going to require a lot of maintenance essentially in the fall you park it in the stall throw some mouse bait in it remove all your uh, dry goods if you want to say and uh, well it's winterized you know there's no pipes to blow out there's nothing to winterize there's no septic tank to clean you know, the gray water tank and all that stuff, you just go. So, pretty much, guys, going to get a few things going and rolling here. See where the day takes us. Maybe, uh, like I said, get that workbench over and done with. Once it's over and done with, then we are good to roll for the next round. So, let's get at her. Well, hello, YouTube. Here we are. A little bit of a uh, later evening update. Well, did some work, of course, on the project. I uh, ran some more screws in and got things fastened on down. Uh, probably can't even see uh, what I've done, but it uh, it is what it is. I got kicking around another idea. I know that's like the third or fourth redesign that I've done on the bed area. However, however, the sheets of spruce, I believe, is like seventeen ninety-five a sheet. And I need two of them. And the sanded pine is more, like $45 a sheet. And, of course, I need two of them as well. Now, with the spruce, I need uh, paint, uh, preferably primer and paint. So that's probably going to be another 20 25 bucks there. And uh, I'd be pretty close to sitting right there, the price of the sanded pine. Now the sanded pine, I still want a stain and a clear coat eventually. However, I do have the stain and the clear uh, set in there from the basement project. So really, the clear and the stain doesn't cost me any money. I made a run out to the Home Depot and uh, picked me up, well, a couple of sheets of half inch sanded pine. Um, I suppose if you're going to do it, do it once and do it right. Then in the future, you're not going to be uh, tempted to rip out the spruce and start all over. Then that way it's already, then that way it's already about where you want it to be. Then in phase two, uh, whether it's the fall or next spring, we can start on it from there and build from there. As well as stopped by the grocery store, picked up some groceries. Stopped by the old dollar store, picked up some stuff as well. Might as well save a dollar when you can. Came on back, unloaded things, and here we are now. Just about to decide what I want to get for supper. And, uh, well, get on with the old evening. I think we're going to get some rain because the mosquitoes are really, really bad. 
that usually means that we're in for a shower or so. So guys, gonna go in, get on with the old evening, and we'll see y'all later. We come to the end of another day. Well, it was a good day. Started off a bit late in the day, but hey, uh, that's better than nothing. Ran a screw, ran a few screws into the trailer there, got things fastened on down. Ended up uh, shifting gears on the material I wanted to use for the bed top. However, I believe the more expensive material, even though it's a bit of a budget drain, uh, more than what I was counting on, uh, will pay off in the long term. It beats having to rip it out and redo it with you wanna redo it in, and then having to spend you know almost as much a second time around. Uh, like I mentioned there, especially once you gotta buy primer and paint and all that stuff again when you already own or have stain. So of course got a few more things I want to pick up, get some uh, other items. I got to remember to stop by the propane store, pick up a 20 pound tank for the uh, tabletop barbecue. I should uh, probably take a uh, tabletop with me. Um, I, they should have picnic tables, but I'm not 100% sure uh, if they still do out there or not. Um, there's a few more items I want to uh, pick up from the Princess Auto as well as do a return. I need to uh, fight with a rusty old uh, insert, get the ball off it, change ball sizes because, well, the one that I wasted money on buying there back in May was totally useless. And um, I need to change the height because, well, it's just the way the trader pulls better with the height that is currently at. So we'll get everything switched on over and uh, if, if I have to uh, use a cutting torch well then we'll do the cutting torch method but guys gonna end her all here today was a good day tomorrow is another one and around around we go and as always thanks for watching Maxwell's vlogs comment subscribe and enjoy